this is the world's oldest tobacconist. Hi, this is John from Switzerland and today I'd like to tell you a little story about the world's oldest tobacconist, James Fox in London. London's St. James Street is a very special one because you find the three biggest tobacconists on it. Davidoff, of course, Switzerland is everywhere, Dunhill and the oldest one, James Fox. So, and this was also the most interesting shop when you uh, stand outside and, and uh, yeah, gaze into the, the shop uh, through the window. And so we went in there and immediately a perfect British gentleman in a black suit like uh, Dale Piper came towards me and asked uh, in a, of course, perfect Oxford uh, with a perfect uh, Oxford English accent and I won't even try to speak like this because people may think I want to make fun of them and I don't. So came towards me and asked me if he could help me and uh, before I, I was able to, to look at all these beautiful pipes and tobacco, well, jars is, is not really right because they are that big um, they have on the shelf there so I'm about to say tobacco barrels so well and I said yes sir indeed you can I'd like to buy some of Britain's best pipe tobacco and was about to say Revor plug but I couldn't because he um, already turned around and grabbed one of the barrels and I was like, wow, they sell rainbow plug in these barrels. <laughs> I started immediately calculating how could I manage to, to bring this <laughs> barrel in my suitcase with, with a, um, uh, on the plane and back home and so. But um, then he opened it and showed it to me and it was a, I don't know, mixture and, and aromatic. He said, slightly aromatic, sir. And I was like, slightly, no. <laughs> and then I, I told him, no, I'd like to have raver plug. And he was like, um, sorry, we don't have this. What is it? And then I explained him, yeah, well, it's a very strong tobacco and uh, or made strong to strong tobacco and a straight Virginia. And then he grabbed another barrel and said, oh, then I recommend our curly cut. And the minute, the second I smelled at this, I was like, yep, I have to try this. So, and that's the tobacco I have here in my mirror now. So. Herfeville temper. So, I think it's a straight Virginia, if I remember that correct, and that's a so smooth tobacco uh, with a little hmm, aftertaste, uh, so really so smooth as, as butter. Yeah, it's, it's buttery. It's really, yeah. But so really so great I highly recommend to order this because I asked him they still ship internationally so James Fox check out um, the website jjfox.co.uk but I will give you the info of course as well in the bucket A 
my opinion, it's really a great smoke for um, the summer because it doesn't need much attention once it's uh, lit up properly. properly. <laughs> um, it's very uncomplicated to smoke then. And yeah, like I said already, very smooth and a really special aroma, but non-flavored, so it's uh, non-aromatic. So, and now, the highlight of this store is a chair. Yes, of course, there is not only one chair to sit down while doing your shopping there, but this is the chair Winston Churchill used to sit in when he ordered his cigars there, because he was a customer there from 1900 to 1964. I also sat in this chair and it was really a very special feeling. So special that I totally forgot uh, to ask about his cigars or his favorites. And um, yeah, I, I didn't felt that day like um, buying some cigars so I just went with this pipe tobacco and was totally fine but so when you when you travel to London once you have to visit James Fox as long as this store will be there um, it's really special it's really like traveling in another um, century and yeah so that was my little Meerschaum Monday story for today. Thank you very much for watching, for subscribing and please leave a comment which James Fox tobacco have you tried already? Which is your favorite? Until we meet again, bye, says John from Switzerland.